In another one of its self-congratulatory statements, the government hailed the drop in unemployment rate from a whopping 38% in 2006 to 26.8% today. That's a massive, impressive drop. But is it real? The growth in GDP, gross domestic product, during the same period of time does not reflect such an increase in employment. So what gives? The government seems to be using the wrong data. The International Labour Organization, ILO, and Eurostat, the statistical agency of the European Union, define the unemployment the unemployed as someone between the ages of 15 and 74 who is out of a job, is looking for work, has been looking for work in the past four weeks, and is ready to start a new job within two weeks. Both the ILO and Eurostat warn countries, telling them to not use information collected from employment bureaus. Instead, the ILO and Eurostat recommend that governments implement countrywide surveys. Based on these surveys, they should calculate the unemployment rate. Well, Macedonia is using information from employment bureaus, exactly the opposite of the recommended practice. But is this uh, type of breach of data collection, is it sufficient to explain the discrepancy between GDP and employment uh, figures? I don't think so. There are deeper reasons at play. But before we get to these reasons, it's important to explain that the unemployment rate, or what we call the headline unemployment rate, which is published by the government, is not the relevant figure. Two other numbers are important. First, the long-term unemployment. People who have been looking for a job for more than one year and cannot find one. In Macedonia, the long-term unemployment is very high and has remained the same since 2006. The second number is youth unemployment. Youngsters out of high school, out of university, looking for a job and cannot find one. In Macedonia, Macedonia youth unemployment is very high, above 50%, and it hasn't changed substantially since 2006. Still, what would explain this discrepancy in numbers? What would explain the precipitous drop from 38% to 27%? Even if the numbers are not exactly right, Clearly, there's a change. What uh, explains this change? Is it foreign direct investment? The government says that foreign direct investment is responsible for an increase in employment. Well, yes, but foreign investors have employed a few thousand people. It's not enough to explain the drop. Is it government policies and measures? To some extent, but to a very small extent. Actually, the, ch the difference in numbers between 2006 and today is explained by a set of developments which have nothing to do with the government, with its policies, with its measures, or with foreign direct investment. First of all, and most importantly, many people gave up. They are no longer looking for work. They have dropped out of the labor force. If you are not looking for work, even though you are technically unemployed, you will not be part of the statistics. If tomorrow all the unemployed people in Macedonia stop looking for work, the unemployment rate would be 0%. The second thing is the black economy. The black informal economy in Macedonia has been reduced by one third. This is due to government policies and measures. People who have been employed in the black economy uh, and were not declared, they were not formally and officially employed, now have become declared workers. And this reduced the unemployment rate. More importantly, a few years ago, the government decoupled benefits. People used to register at the employment office in order to gain health insurance. And then the government separated health insurance from unemployment benefits. And so people no longer register with the employment bureau because they are not getting the health benefits. This alone explains a big part of the drop in unemployment. Consider also the following. Immigration. 80,000 people, 80,000 people, left Macedonia since 2006. They went abroad 
Most of them became gastarbeiter. Had these people remained in Macedonia, most of them would have been unemployed and the unemployment rate would not have changed considerably. And then there is a question of self-employment. The government lavishes subsidies on the agricultural sector. People who are self-employed in the agricultural sector are not part of the employment and unemployment statistics. Other people have become self-employed in the services sector. They are also not part of the statistics. So we have many more hairdressers and fewer unemployed. And then there's the issue of forced involuntary retirement. Pensioners are not part of the employment statistics. The more people are forced to retire, the more pensioners there are, the lower the rate of unemployment. Tens of thousands of people have been forcibly retired since, since 2006. Even at the ages of 54, 55, had these people remained in the workforce, unemployment rate would have been much higher. Consider students. Students are not a part of the unemployment statistics. Since 2006, the number of students in Macedonia has doubled. Doubled. There are numerous new private universities. People studying these universities are not part of the employment statistics. So, 20, 30,000 additional people have become students and were taken off the labor force. That also explains a part of the drop in unemployment. And then thousands of people are being trained in special programs financed by the government and the European Union and other organizations and NGOs. People who are tr in training and reskilling are, you guessed it, not part of the labor force, not part of the unemployment statistics. Even the increase in the number of prisoners helps the government because the more prisoners there are, the less unemployed people there are. And then finally, most of the increase in employment in the past 10 years has been in temporary jobs, part-time jobs, contract jobs. In America, these type of jobs are called mech jobs because these are the kind of people who go to work in McDonald's part-time. These are not serious jobs. These are not the type of jobs that build the economy. This is not the type of jobs that youngsters out of high school or university are hoping for. It's not the kind of jobs that will, that will keep the population of Macedonia growing, happy and prosperous. The creation of real, long-term, substantial, productive jobs in Macedonia is still very, very low. The vast majority, the bulk of the change between 38% and 27% today is explained by factors that have nothing to do with the government or its policies or the local economy. People left the country. People have become students. People are not looking for a job anymore. When you put all these numbers together, you discover that well over 70% of the difference, well over 70% of the change that the government is so bragging about has happened because of demographic and other trends that have nothing to do with the government.